Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. I'm going to review a fish batter from Louis Fish and Fish and Delit. <laughs> Kentucky coating mix. Of course, I got this in Kentucky. I do believe it's Walmart. So we're gonna try it. It says you can do a uh, country fried version with buttermilk or evaporated milk or just wet the fish. So I'm I'm just gonna try it just like that. This is the batter pro if you're wondering. Comes in three pieces. I have a link to that in the description if you're interested. Oh, my fish du jour. Of course, I'm having fish tacos, so that's why I don't want to go crazy with this. Is swai fish fillets. I love that fish. Let's smell it. Mm, it smells pretty good. It smells like it's got seasoning in there. I'm not sure what, but I'm going to pour half the bag in there. Then you put the top on there. And then you just flip it back and forth. It's so nice to use this thing. Just don't let it sit around with the batter on there. Just soak it in water and wash it right away. Let's see what it looks like. Beautiful. Okay. Let's change the angle here. I've got the paddle out. You can use a flat pan by DeLonghi. I just have that in there. I sprayed some olive oil in there. With this, I've got olive oil in this one. Evo sprayer. There's a link to that too if you're interested. So, I'm gonna put all three fillets in there. It looks like it has paprika because it's got a little red tint to it. I'm not sure. All right. So my rule of thumb when I'm frying something with batter is I will wait a couple minutes before I spray the top with the aerosol olive oil, okay? I mean, if I do it with this, it's just gonna be too much oil. So you do the aerosol can. So usually fish about this thickness is about 10 minutes, so I'll see. But halfway, I'm gonna spray some oil on the top. So bottom on, top on at four. And um, just remember to spritz it with some olive oil about three, four minutes in. Okay, I'll let you know total cooking. I think that was exactly 10 minutes. Listen to that sizzle. It looks really good. I like the color. So, I'm gonna plate it and taste it. Be right back. All right, Tommy just got home from work and he's gonna taste it. You gonna say hi to everybody? Oh, hi everyone. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to converse with the public. No, oh, okay. Actually, I kind of like the flavor of it. Yeah? yeah. I, I smelled flavor, so... It's not really spicy at all, but... Okay. Um, it's a good batter. It's got good... You t is it salty? Mm-mm. Not, not salty. salty at all. Not spicy and not salty, mm -mm. but you taste flavors. Mm-hmm. That's good. Well, I wonder what's in it because... Well, look at the color. It's a beautiful yeah, color. Yeah, real good. I thought there was like smoked paprika or something in there. It says uh, ground white cornmeal salt Spanish paprika. Oh, it was close. I didn't even read that. Mm -hmm. That's and, why it's and the red. Ground, the ground celery seed helps. Oh, yeah. Well, good. So yeah, how, it's do, you, very good. I like how it. do you rate it? I'll give it a five for just batter without no spices in wait, it if you wait, want to put wait, a little bit. Wait. Oh, it's good. It's very You've good. You've never given a five. I know. This is really good. You guys, this is a first. This is really good. I'm telling you. We got that in Kentucky. Did you know we? what this means? We have to go back to Kentucky. No, I'm just <laughs> I saw it on Amazon. But Kentucky's a great place. Right, hey, Keith? Wait, don't we have friends there? We have friends there. Keith Betag's no. Labor Day. He's in Evansville. Well, it's like two blinks from Indiana. Jeffy. Well, I I, this is awesome. Well, good. A five from Tom, you guys. Very good. All right. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.